You know, I had a feeling Vegas was going to be a little different after the whole uh, quarantine went away, but I didn't think it would take this long. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So I wanted to go ahead and do something different today. Obviously, today is April Fool's Day, and I just really wanted to go ahead and do something different for a change. As you guys know, I am a professional uh, Vegas nerd and a professional Star Wars nerd, too. So I figured while I was out and about, I just wanted to do something kind of goofy. And I wanted to show you guys around the Space of Vegas Hotel and Casino here in uh, Scenic Space Vegas, a.k.a. Nar Shaddaa from Star Wars. <laughs> so go ahead and drop a like on this one if you guys enjoyed this, got the joke or whatever, because uh, Nar Shaddaa is basically Space Vegas in um, Star Wars, at least in this version of Star Wars too. So keep that in mind as we go on through. Um, so I built the whole place just kind of like a Vegas Hotel and Casino. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and go back into first person view. Okay, so obviously we have security up front over here uh, when you come into the hotel. Uh, this is the valet over here. Lots of lots of speeders, lots of bikes and all that. So plenty of really fancy cars over here. We even have uh, LV Metro hanging out over here at the door to make sure we're all good. And then when we go in through the front door over here, so you can tell this is a very space-themed casino over here. Uh, going into the rooms, we're going to do a little room tour over here. Uh, you have lounges upstairs. So these are nice little basic sitting areas, so if you like uh, like to entertain, this is kind of the entertainment suite over here. Uh, so that is one of them. Just comes with a basic queen-size bed, or full-size bed, actually. Uh, I think these are running about $100 a night right now, so let's go ahead and move on to the next room over here. And this is actually one of the conference rooms over here. They're actually in the middle of a conference right now. For some reason, it is played around a blackjack table. Not entirely sure how that works, but you know what? If this is uh, the type of conference they're having, that's the type of conference they're having. All right, cool, cool. So now as we go across the lobby over here, um, little uh, sparse on decorations there. Uh, it looks like it's uh, just uh, very nationalistic. They have the Republic. Uh, symbols everywhere too. So we're going to go ahead and go in this way and then we're going to go ahead and get another one of the cool lounge areas. This is the park at the Space of Vegas Hotel and Casino. So you have a couple little uh, sit down areas here. Of course you have your bed in here too. Uh, a couple more chairs and uh, we've got some nice places to entertain folks as well. I think this one's going for $2.50 a night uh, but you know if you get your uh, Ace of Vegas comps from the Ace of Vegas game, then obviously you get a pretty good deal there. And then here is the executive suite in here too, so you get some extra extra arms, extra, and you actually even get your own private playing table over here. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, absolutely. Uh, there's also a shooting range. Uh, you can see the uh, you can see the rifles up here in this area if you guys want to go down to the shooting range, and of course plenty of reading material too. So that is always great. Now as we go into the next section over here, this is the main check-in lobby. Uh, you'll be greeted by hotel staff all the time, plenty of sitting areas over here. And then um, you have uh, check-in over here, so here's the uh, check-in clerk. Um, he also functions as your butler. Let's go ahead and uh, chat him up a little bit. Welcome back, master. Your vessel is in flawless condition naturally. Excellent, good deal. I like to hear that, C2. Alright, so now as we're heading down the stairs, stairs on either side are going to go ahead and lead you down to the uh, Space of Vegas Lightspeed Lounge here. Um, so if you, this is also the business center over here if you guys are interested. So this is where you can print off your itineraries, um, you have ATMs over here, but you mainly print off your itineraries, get your tickets and all that, uh, we've got a copy machine over here, fax machine over here. And then the attendant over here, she's uh, willing to help you out if you need any assistance. Now, going into the Lightspeed Lounge over here, this is where it gets a little lively. So we do have a little bit of gaming inside the Lightspeed Lounge. Obviously, full uh, full open bar on this end over here. This is a VIP, only for guests. Um, and then we do have live entertainment. We have dancers, as you can see, uh, as well as a as well as cocktail servers 
at every single one of the uh, sit-down areas, too. So every sit-down area has a cocktail server. Except for this one. I don't think we hired anyone for this person over here. It's also kind of the low season right now. So this uh, this VIP section is kind of tapered off. But when you, uh, when you get your bottle service, as you can see, we have bottle service over here. Uh, then you're going to get your own uh, VIP. Kind of like my uh, VIP host, uh, Nadia, over here. Where is Nadia? Nadia, please stop moving around. Here we go. Nadia Grell. She is my VP, VIP host over sure. here. Sure. What do you want me to do? See, there you go. See, sure. What do you want me to do? That is, that's because she is the best VIP host ever. And then, of course, we uh, certainly have our, uh, you know, our uh, dealer over here. So we have our blackjack dealer. Only blackjack in here. No slot machines on this one. So we don't do slot machines in the lounges at Space of Vegas. And then, of course, plenty of places to sit down. Music's pretty chill, and then we have uh, sports on the wall over here. And then you can do some sport betting if you're into that sort of thing. It's a good place. All right, and if you guys want to go out onto the terrace here, we're going to go ahead and walk you out to the terrace. Uh, these stairs lead back up to the main lobby. Multi-floor hotel. Good stuff. Very small boutique hotel, but it's actually really nice. So this is the Sky Palace. Uh lounge over here. It's just kind of the terrace, so we got lots of... So if you want to hang out, have drinks out here, then you can absolutely do that. It is heated. And it's standing room only out here, guys. We did not have the space for... Did not have the space for chairs. Ignore this very large space over here where we would have had chairs, but this is uh, basically what it is. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back inside and take you down to the casino real quick. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get back over to the casino. Okay, guys, and we're back down here at the uh, main casino. This is kind of uh, so. This is kind of the promenade over here. So obviously, we have the uh, Borvo, the Hut statue in the center of it all. He, he's the equivalent of Space Caesar. So we have a Space Caesar statue in here, and then this is kind of the promenade where you have all the other uh, hotel guests and all that. And obviously, security walks around. Uh, they're very serious about security around here, so that's why you see armed guards, uh, especially just considering how much money there is in a place like this. So you guys just gotta consider that if you're here. So there are two levels to the promenade. There's the main level over here where you get the hut fountains. Good place. Um, obviously there are other tourists over here. You can meet the concierge. The concierge will meet you downstairs too. Really, really nice people. And then you have all these lovely, these lovely native trees and plants. There's always entertainers out, dancers too. Uh, very, very nice. And lots of, lots of clubs in this area over here. So we have, uh, I think it's the Three Cred Club over here. So if you're heading that general direction too. Um, more security over here. And of course there are gift shops all over the place over here. I mean, look at all these gift shops. Man, wow. But yeah, let's go ahead and go up to the promenade to the other half, and then we're going to go ahead and get down to the proper casino there. We're going to have to be really careful when we're filming the casino because uh, I know that the uh, cartel security, uh, that's what they call their security guards, this is the cartel security. They are not super uh, fond of that, but I have my concierge slash casino host here, and I have a feeling that um, she's going to take care of us. And here we are. This is the Lucent Square overlook here. Um, this is where we're at. So we just kind of overlook the rest of the promenade there. There are a couple more shops up here. And a couple more, a couple more little bars and clubs that we can go into, have a drink at and all that. A couple little lounges. And there's some more uh, conference space too. So obviously there's tons of conference space. I didn't think that we'd have conference space in this uh, hotel or casino. But they just got tons of people having uh, conferences here. You know, it's very fascinating. But uh yeah, I don't think our uh, I don't think our VIP host wants us to go that way. So we're gonna follow our VIP host directions, and we're not gonna go that general direction. Instead, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of this, and then we are going to go take a look at the casino, which is up uh, another flight of stairs over here. So this is the rest of the clubs, and then they have some more little shops over here. You can get your oxygen bar going if you guys had a really long night. And then also we have the sports bar over here. Uh, this is the sports bar in here. If you guys want to do a little bit of sport betting. And then also if you're interested in uh, renting a speeder, 
you can definitely go ahead and do that. And then you can do a little bit of driving in Nar Shaddaa here. But this is, uh, this is pretty much where everything else is. Shooting range is over here, like I was uh, telling you guys earlier. But then here's the bar. So we got the bar, and then we got the shooting range over here. And then we have the uh, sports scores on the side over here. This guy's not doing, uh, I don't think this guy's doing so hot. So he's getting ready to hit the, uh, he's getting ready to hit the range. Uh, just because he's not doing so well with the, uh, obviously with the races over here. I think he was betting on this guy, and this guy's winning over here. It's a shame. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, well let's go ahead and head back out to, uh, the rest of the casino then. Okay guys, and now we are in the foyer over here. Our casino hostess is a little underdressed, I gotta admit, but that's alright. We have our VIP casino host that's taking care of us, and immediately in the foyer, we see these are where the slot machines are located here in the old Space of Vegas Hotel and Casino, and we've got some people making some really big wins over here, so there you go, they're they're hitting those uh, Electrolink jackpots, they're hitting those Lucky May Electrolinks and just winning all day. See, that's how you guys know I have the best uh, casino over here, and then there's also, as you can see, another lobby bar down here, so... If you guys want to get your drink on before you go upstairs to the real action at Club Vertica, here is the lobby bar down here, and then uh, yeah, it looks like shoot, looks like this guy's getting down too. It's a good times. And then if we ha head back upstairs, so I've got a lot of players over here. It looks like we got a card counter, but he's already been uh, captured by our security. So we know that uh, security is watching this guy. This guy is marked by security. Let's get up these stairs here. Here we go. Club Vertica in the mezzanine here. And we still got more more kind of bar tables. This is, we have a lot of wide open spaces here. That's one thing I really hated about casino nightclubs and all that. There's just so, you know, it's just so tight in there. So we wanted to add some more uh, wide open space. And of course, you know, you got a little bit of social distancing between the slot machines. Good stuff. It's pretty quiet in the club over here. Uh, it, it's still kind of early. I think it's only like uh, 6.30 right now, so no one's made it downstairs yet. Let me go ahead and see if we can get into the main uh, casino here real quick, and we'll have a, have a good time with that. All right, which is on the other side. So we'll just go through, but let's go ahead and check out the uh, Club Vertica, because it is straight vertical in there, and we're going to be having a good time in there. So we go past these other slot machines here, and we just follow the waitress, we'll take a hard right, and boom, right into the club. And then you got your own R2-D2 delivery robots over here, so if you need something sent up to your room, these guys will take care of it for you. And this is the main cocktail lounge here. So if you want to have a cocktail hour, or if you want cocktails delivered, they also have the serving robots in here that'll deliver the cocktails. This is the main rest of the clock cocktail lounge over here. Rest of the cocktail lounge. And then we also have security on this side. Host our casino hostess goes in that way. And we go in this way. And then this is the main casino floor. So obviously we have VIP blackjack tables over here. We have VIP baccarat tables. Uh, high rollers only in this area here, but you know what? If you're uh, pennies for Vegas and low rolling uh, like uh, me and the rest of the guys do. We have our uh, video machines on these sides over here for anyone that's uh, low rolling. Again, it's really early right now, so we don't have a lot of people in. It's uh, So we have a few people. This guy's not having such a good time with the game right now. Sir, is there anything we can help you out with today? Can we help you, sir? Okay, alright. Looks like we're calling security. Uh, go ahead and call security for him. I'm, I'm not sure if I keep jumping between being a guest and the owner. Alright, cool. So we're going around here, and we're trying to get some more players on the tables over here. And we got this one guy that's just kind of scoping out the competition. I'm not sure what he wants to play yet. This guy's having a great time. He is just killing it on the table over here. We're going to go ahead and uh, let's comp him some rooms. Uh, now, do you think you can comp him some rooms? The galaxy is just so violent. How do you cope? Uh, apparently with uh, gambling. Okay. That was not what I wanted to hear from her. 
Then we also have the super high roller room and the way back over here. And that's pretty much the whole casino there. Yep, and the rest of this is just more high roller tables and then security. Oh, security got that guy. Why did he get that guy and not the other guy? Ah, it's so hard to find good help these days. And then we go right back up the stairs and then, uh, yeah, we can uh, take the elevators once we get up these stairs, right back to our room. So yeah guys, these are the elevators back to the uh, penthouse over here. So obviously, I'm, I just showed them my casino card, and we're going to go ahead and take the elevator back up to our penthouse. I uh, wanted to go ahead and thank my gracious casino host, Nadia, over here, who is teleporting around me like a ninja of some sort. Uh, I want to thank her for letting me do a full tour of the casino and letting us uh, get this all on camera. Um, hopefully, you guys will enjoy our tour of Park MGM on Friday just as much as you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, till then, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.